1994 Citroen ZX 1.9 litre turbo diesel engine this one in white bonnet work wise start off with the bonnet work our way around the interior and then we'll do an engine start up a few little stone chips on the leading edge of the bonnet there you can see that with it being white it sort of picks them out bonnet itself once well the whole car itself wants a good polish a little bit flat in places but no major dings or dents on the bonnet itself headlights are nice and clear on both sides no cracks in those a little bit of a mop scuff on the right hand bumper corner lower half again apart from some stone chips all nice and presentable a little bit of a scuff again on the left hand bumper corner very very small that little bit of a heat gun would sort some of those out i would think as we come round onto the wing now along the front edge of the wing is all all right as you work your way around the wing all nice and presentable down there we've got a little bit of bubbling down here a little bit of rust coming through there tiny little bit underneath the paint there but all in all very presentable a little bit of a part and dent on the top of the wing there that's the right hand side that is the driver's front wing top as you work your way up the pillar a few little stone chips but no major corrosion across the front edge is nice and straight like i say it is a bit flat in places once a bit of a machine polish this or a hand polish around the sunroof nice and tidy no corrosion around the sunroof itself and the glass is all nice and no delamination to the glass as we come back down onto the driver's front door all nice and tidy on the front door nice and straight down that side a few tiny little bits at the bottom of the door there very very small a little bit at the back edge of the door onto the passenger uh, driver's rear door sorry a few little stone chips but no corrosion coming through as you work your way up the top half of the driver's door around the mirror all all right no major scratching around the handle a little bit of a light one there like I say it does want a good polish it's a little bit flat onto the top half of the back door a little bit of a stone chip there and again around the handle nice and clean and tidy lower half of the rear door all nice and white as is that rear arch there you can see that there a little bit tiny bit down the bottom but the paint side of things all nice and straight as you come round the petrol cap you'll see we've got a touch in there and a touch in so that's the right hand rear quarter a couple of little touch ins there so we're our way around onto the bumper corner. A little bit of a scuff on the driver's rear bumper corner. The lower half hasn't marked at all. We've obviously had some decal stickers on the lower half of the tailgate and the on the rear quarters there. They've sort of faded off. Around the screens, nice and straight, no corrosion around there. Around the wiper motor, an arm, all good. And around the badges. Light lenses are crack free on both sides on the rear. The lower half of the tailgate again nice and straight and tidy granted it is a little bit flat on the paintwork but it is all nice and straight there's no corrosion coming through there across the lower half of the valance few little stone chips but that's all to be concerned about on that there so come on the left hand side rear arch as you come down the arch again nice and clean and tidy a little bit of a dint here on the arch itself and a stone chip on the top but nice and clean on the inside there up the rear quarter now so there's a little bit starting here on the left hand rear quarter and again the paint is flat on that rear quarter a bit matte there on the whole car really the door itself is a nice shape across the suede signs not really dented anywhere all nice and straight on the passenger rear door as you come down the sill there's a few little tiny marks there and a few little touching little bits of rust there on the bottom of the passenger door one two and three there Rest the door again, nice and straight and tidy. No problems with that. Onto the passenger front wheel arch, got a tiny bit starting down the bottom of the arch. As you work your way around the arch again, nice and straight and tidy. A little bit starting just on the front edge. The wing top itself, got a few stone chips in, but no dings or dents. Sits nice and level, this one. Into the interior now. Front door card, driver's side, all nice and tidy. No cracks, no rips or tears on the door card itself. Nice and tidy inside the door checks. We've got a little bit of wet, a bolster here, a few little rips there. One, two, three, four. Where it's come back through on the material. But the rest of it, all nice and presentable and tidy. The lower half of the swab, no rips or tears on that bottom bolster there. All nice and straight. As you come across the dash top, no cracks in the dash top that I can see. All nice and presentable there. Down the centre console, all nice and standard. You'll see we've got some wear to the gear stick knob there, it's broken off. Has got an immobiliser fitted on this one here as well. Headlining 
around the sunroof, no damp patches, all nice and clear around there. Passenger uh, driver's rear, again, door card, wind down, wind down windows in the back, manual windows. Door card itself, nice and clean and tidy. Rear bench seat, showing minimal wear at all, really there, nice and comfy as well. These Citroens are always made for comfort. Headliner nice and clear for the back half. There. Into the boot now, you've got the rear sun blind as well. In good working order. Parcel shelf there, all intact. As you lift up, you'll see the boot carpet's nice and clean and tidy in there. Um, we'll try and lift this forward a little bit. I'm not sure if they do actually lift forward. All nice and tidy in here. No problems at all with that. As we go into the passenger rear door, Again, door card itself, lovely clean and tidy. Nice and straight inside the door checks as well. Have a look on the left hand side. Again, no real wear at all, those rear seats. No rips or tears on the rear seats. Passenger front, again, door card nice and clean and tidy. No real wear around the handles, no cracking. A little bit faded on the button itself. Dash top on the left hand side again, nice and straight. As you come up the passenger seat, so minimal wear, there's no rips or tears cigarette burns or stains in there and again have a look at that headlining from the front you will see we got the engine bay we have got a booster pack on it the battery was flat so bear in mind it's probably going to need a battery this one into the engine bay now toby's going to get it fired up there once he's done the immobiliser Done the, once he's done the immobiliser, bear with us a second there. I did tell him about this. Here we go. There you go. That turbo diesel engine firing into life there after a couple of revolutions. It is on a cold start up that as well. No one wanted noises from that at all. There you have it. The old red Citroen in white there, turbo diesel on the five speed manual gearbox.